heading out to go and do a job over at near my area. Um, this tree got struck by lightning years and years ago. Um, hollowed it out, like burnt the inside out. So I'm going to go and cut it up. So I'm going to go and cut that up. Some fire damaged wood, which I've got full skip, full chisel chain. So I'm a little bit worried that it um, might dull it up. We'll see what happens. I've got the new uh, steel 20 inch light bar on it. 24, 24, 24, 20 inch, 20 inch. Um, got that on there with a full skip chisel chain. Oh, I extended it out of my old chain off my old bar. Is it virtually new? Slow down. Um, which was virtually new, so yeah, I'm just gonna whiz it up, see what happens. So, uh, yeah, see you on site. I couldn't help but noticing how nice these V6 D40 trucks sound. No, there's a lorry, there's a gap that's about sort of, there's two bits of road um, that go down to one, so it's two to one, and it's about sort of 250 yards long, 200 yards long, and a lorry pulled out to go and overtake another lorry, and I thought, that's not going to happen, and he just went, oh, and squeezed back in again. But yeah, I just thought I'd put that in, because I tell you, these trucks, I do like the sound of them. There it is. She's a lump. It's a big lump. See that? The lightning strike in there. That just burnt the inside out. That's what I'm worried about. Look at all the grit and gravel on the floor. Oh, no. I don't think this is going to be worth it very much, this wood, but we'll see it. I mean, it looks healthy at the end. I oh, know it doesn't. We'll cut into it and we'll see what happens. There's a nice bit over here. It's not so bad. Someone's had a proper saw on it, though, look. We're next to a highway and the main road, so it's going to be looking at me all weird like. Why's that guy filming? It's all gone icy though. It's still cold. Right, let's crack on. A bit more cut and then uh, I'll get back to you. So we're getting on quite well. Look at that, look, that's just burn. Good. See what the bars picked up on the charcoal. Well, look, it's hollowed that right out. So I'm going to cut the rest of that. You can see there and there. So I'm just having a quick bit of coffee. Get the last bit of that off and then I'll try and get those slabs off the bottom, but I just don't want to hit the dirt. I wanted to stay off the dirt for now, um, whilst I'm cutting all that, so now I'm going to dull my chain, 
So then if I do it the dirt there, I'm not losing out a lot. I've already got the majority of the wood cut. But it's rotten to hell. It's not even holding a long noodle chip. It's just coming out of like dust or breaking off in like little pellets. It's not coming out half decent at all. Put you on this log now, I suppose. There you go, little nice shot of the chainsaw bar. The new ES light bar. I tell you now, that is nice. I've got a new husky axe out. Banging wedges. I'm liking it a lot. And a Spitfire flew over as well. <laughs> really, really low and fast. Really fast. Well, we weren't fast, but he was. He had the throttle open and he was. <sighs> he made that noise. Wicked. Right, I'm going to cut this half last, this last bit off. See if I can fit it in a truck. Seems like you got the receiving end of that. I haven't even got a bit of rag on me, I don't think. Nope. But yeah, ha, that was cool. Uh, let me clean you off. All cleaned up. There you go, see better now. Right, so an update on what is worn on. Finish my coffee. So I might have to go and drop this load of logs back and go make some more. <laughs> um, we have got Lots and lots of firewood. We've got this chunk here left. I can get the screen going. We've got this chunk here left. It's just a pretty sizable lump that's off it. But I've got the rest of this to log up. I've chucked a piece over there, it's all burnt up. I'm gonna try and get these slabs down. I made up my mind. I'm gonna try and slab some of those off. And then I'm gonna nip back, drop them off, drop these ones off and come back and uh, pick the rest of these up. So uh, yeah, probably get a little bit sore in. Let me see if I can get these slabs done first, because then I know they're going to be a bit easier to hand out. And I know what I've got to do with them. Doing that in the summer. Look at that bike course. Can't wait to get out of my bike. I miss it. 
I mean, I love running chainsaws for winter. They're still not soaking up the sun. Oh, you've got to experience the sun to experience what it's like to run a saw for winter. Everyone says, oh, just run a file over your chain every time you refuel. I ain't got time for that. I'll refuel fire up before she goes cold. Right, this one is virtually all the way through. So we'll go a bit further. That's all that's worth taking, that bit and that lump. I'll tell you what, this makes a great noise when you smack it on a wedge, it goes dunk! Over strike. Kapyong! Lovely, right. Okay, so. Refresh coffee, drop the load off. I just loaded a few in, just a couple in there. Um, it's cleared up the rest of the mess that was here, those slabs. I say they're not worth it, there probably is a good bit of wood. What I'll do is I'll cut that knuckle up and throw that in, and then whatever's left, I'll throw this in behind because some of it's worth it, and the rest of it I'll just burn off at home. But um, there's another one over here years ago that got taken down. Got a little mission. That was taken down a long time ago. You can see how big it is. There's my coffee cup. It's quite big. But whatever, it's been gone a long time. I mean, that is just mush. It's all just mush. But it's a big, big stump. It looks as if, well, I don't know if it's been cut with a saw. Can't really tell. The saw marks are gone. But it's quite flat. So either they might have felled it out into there by looking at what holding was left, or it broke off and went. If they'd done a traditional where they went like that and then come in from the top, they might have laid it out across the road, but I wouldn't see why they'd do that. They'd lay it out in the field, wouldn't they? Oh well, right, let's get this knuckle cut up. Okay, so um, I've got the old man coming up in a minute. He's coming to help me load these in, so I'm gonna get this last bit cut. And then, otherwise he'll, otherwise he'll be hanging around waiting for me to finish cutting it, and I don't wanna be doing that, because the sun's setting and it's getting cold. So, I'm gonna get this cut, so I'm gonna get it. Um, I'm gonna go once more through the middle, and then down, the, down in bits. Come on.
second, give me a lift of those. Right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.